Hello and welcome to the Bellcast, the How to Turn Dragon podcast. I'm your host, HC, and with me are... Wolf. And Ian. Chi. And, and guess what got another special? Rescue I mean... Riders. You are a new favorite show because these are our most viewed episodes yet again. So, of course, we're here to talk about the new special, which came out today. This is not even a day old, so... Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I'm the guest, you know what the subject is going to be. <laughs> At this point, yeah, you've only been on the rescue. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's sad and both great at the same time. Actually, actually no, 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 I love how Ian is the indication that it's more rescue writers and not mm. the thumbnail. <laughs> like, oh, no, it's me. Do you think people look like, at our thumbnails? Uh, yeah, they just look at the description. Uh, okay, but uh, yeah, this is the new... Uh, Rescue Riders special episodes, uh, Dragons Rescue Riders, <coughs> Secret of the Sunwing. Mm -hmm. This is, so this, uh, let's talk about this, this came out out of nowhere for me. Like, uh, yeah. I, I think the, oh, yeah. like the previous one, I think had a bit, a bit more build up. This just showed up at the start of the week. It's like, hey, coming out this weekend. It's, uh, okay, sure. Um, <laughs> well, apparently they uploaded a trailer on the 9th of July two weeks ago um, on their YouTube channel, which I, by the way, I didn't know DreamWorks Dragons had a YouTube channel in the first place. I grade. did as well like everything I just I just saw everything through the actual DreamWorks YouTube channel, this was how I got my trailers fixed but okay oh, I mean I'm immediately subscribed to this but <laughs> uh, yeah yeah, it just suddenly dropped Really, and I don't know why they did another special. Uh, they did two spe. I mean, if anything, out of this quarantine, we're just getting more rescue riders specials, which I'm okay with. Mm -hmm. I mean, if Corona has to continue for this to happen, then I'm completely okay with three people dying. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, Yikes! You know, it's um... it's just a couple of uh, you know, um, how do you call it? Uh, sacrifices, you know, must be made. The old Collateral people... damage! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Listen, you, okay. you gotta sacrifice a few old people's souls in order to make something this young and just vibrant. And, and hip. And I'm hip. Glad, and I'm just glad, music. I'm glad you agree with, this, with us, Wolf. <laughs> it was fun having you home with me throughout all these years, but all the, if you just said all the old men, so uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, See, so, I can so live it... because I'm young at heart. Ah, right. Uh, well, yeah, you you love rescue riders, and I mean, this, this had a dab in it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. just saying. It did? Okay. Yeah. I missed yeah, it that. Did. Yeah, it I does. missed it, that. Yeah, mm. it's a. It's I got a, something to go back and watch for now. It, it's a, <laughs> Okay, it, it's not really a spoiler, but it's a blink it or miss it moment. But yeah. we'll get to this when we get yeah. to it. Oh, I'm but, happy uh, they did it just just then. Not, I not anymore. Just, that. just the one small thing. Considering I saw Ian dab like twice <laughs> in real life, I knew he was going to like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, before before we get to the dabbing, let's uh, so this special. I I'll say this: out of all the rescue riders content that we received in the past in the past year, I guess. Um, I would Since say the release. That, yeah, like I I'd say honestly that you know. Compared to be between the first two seasons and the previous special, I enjoyed this special the most out of, it, out of everything. But at the same time, I also think that it would have worked better as like a two-parter within a season, another special that stands on its own. No, In this is. Sense, I think it's fine as a special that stands. I think it'd be better. Yeah. I think it's better as a special that stands on stands on its own personally. Really? I think if you had split this up, it wouldn't have been as enjoyable. Maybe it I think it would have but... been. I mean, I can't really talk about it, but there is a point where they move, wink, wink. Yeah. Where you could have made it a two-parter. Yeah, that yeah been... and that's exactly right. because you know in the previous one I couldn't really tell you where the cutoff, uh, you know, where the cutoff point was going to be. In this one, I knew exactly where it will be yeah. like where like the to be continued would be. 
and okay. then, then yeah that makes and, sense and also i think um, considering you know we're considering uh, some revelations quote unquote uh, in the previous one well we get a bit more lore to this universe that you know like that the night furies nathers all of the stuff yeah. from the original exists uh, this one doesn't really have any sort of main lore thing so this is why i also think it i could have seen it uh, working a bit better as a two-parter within a season but as it is i don't care i had a i had a blast with this one That's and fair. the reason and the reason i had a blast with this one is my biggest surprise from this special it's a musical mm-hmm. yes i <laughs> big <couldn't>... warning <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> okay. you know something. This is something like uh, if because I don't know anything that told you before this that this was supposed to be a musical. And, I mean, but, honestly, the, if the you look trailer, at the title, well, the, the trailer also has you know singing in it, so you might have picked it up from there, maybe. But it doesn't well, seem like it's going at to the be same time, everyone the singing all the, the time, though. You know. Yeah, but you know. But at the same time, Race to the Edge had a, had a dragon called the Death Song, and not every episode with that was called. And even the one that was was kind of walking this into the narrative as to why they are. Yeah, it, it, yeah. The, the, I mean, if anything, the Rescue Riders writers are better at writing musicals than the Race to the Edge. <laughs> Race to the Edge writers. We're just it's, saying it's, a lot. <laughs> it's worth pointing out, right? I don't think we've ever mentioned it, but Layla's VA, Brenly Brown, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, amazing! Yes, uh, she is a she, you know she's been singing more or less all her life. She's been performing, right? Like she, oh. if I'm not mistaken, she did the song of friendship in the Pascal's journey for Tangled little series That's thing. Mm. She sung that song. Ah. Okay, okay. So this was basically coming, is what you're saying. It was a long time coming. More than likely, yeah. I mean, also, you know, spoilers, Melodia, the song wing, is voiced by, if I'm not mistaken, let me check and make sure. (laughs) (laughs) Haha. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) She's actually voiced by Renee Elise Goldsberry. If that name sounds familiar to you, that's because she played in the Hamilton play, oh. ah. she was. You, you mean the oh, you mean the OG one, the one that's uh, on Disney Plus now. The, the one hip-hop. that was on Broadway one, yeah, the yeah, one yeah. you know with. You know, what no, what I mean is that the one that everyone the talks about. Yeah. The one that what, everyone no, knows. <laughs> yeah, what I'm asking is that if she was part of the original cast, you know, the yeah. original cast, and not you know. No, oh, yeah, she was. She's a part of the original cast with Lin Manuel oh, okay. that like uh, Renee played Angelica in the original cast. Oh. oh, I have a friend that really loves Hamilton. I tell her about this. <laughs> so she's the voice <laughs> for Melodia. Just, just to clarify this, you know, uh, shout, uh, shout out to you if you're watching, if you're listening to this. But um, like, she kind of gave up on Hunter Turn Dragon for her own reasons, and she Ooh. didn't bother with Rescue Riders. But and now I told her, listen. This epi- this special is a musical, and she's actually interested in checking it out oh, because it's a musical. So oh, now I'm telling her this. She's like, <laughs> she's like all o- she's gonna be all over this. I wonder you if she'll pick up on Renee's singing and voice. I wonder. <laughs> you know how how in the beginning we were like, oh no, this will never be as good as How Train Dragon and stuff, and now we're like, oh, we should recommend this to people. <laughs> I mean, well, I've been like that I, from actually, the beginning. Yeah, actually, well, sarcastically, as... let's yeah. be honest. When season uh, one uh, came out, you were like, speaking, speaking <laughs> of speaking of friends, like as so you know, we kind of as soon as I I saw this is a movie, which is like first second, so it's not that big of a spoiler. But as soon as I see this, I'm like, I, I'm like texting Haddock, who was on the show, and mm. I tell and I tell him Haddock. The Rescue Rider special, it's a musical. And, he, and he, he, just from the text, I could tell him that he was in his damn mind. He, like, like, who would have seen this coming, that this is a musical? But honestly, let's be honest here, in terms of musicals, and you know, you can tell songs also kind of have this, like, Alan Macon, you know, vibe to them. You know, all the, 
Little Mermaid, Little Mermaid, Tangled, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, all of, all of those Disney stuff. So they kind of have this feeling to them, which is honestly, which is on, and you know, they're kind of fun, a bit cheesy because you need to walk with like, um, with like a, Magnus, you a, know. You, you have to work with like names like Magnus or Burple or Cutter. Yeah. So yeah, the rhymes are a little bit cheesy, but they're and, fun. No, I mean, but you also, you also, you know, this is to a show that is for intensive purposes aimed at like preschoolers. So some of it can go, some of the rhymes can go probably be a bit cheesy, but at the same time, I kind of love it in the same sense of like the songs. Inside I mean, or something like this. <laughs> Sonic on the ground. Oh. You get to hear, you know, you, you you get to hear Layla sing in, at the very beginning of you know, in start of the show, right? Not not counting the intro, but you know, when the show starts, you get to hear Le Leia immediately start singing, right? And it, it's just a catchy, fun song. Like, yeah, you know, she's like. She has to rhyme stuff with, you know, with Magnus or Burple so, or Cutter and things like that. But it's still very catchy, very fun, and just enjoyable. I could legit, so, being honest, every, I could legit listen to this song. Oh yes, yeah. away from the, you know, apart yeah. from the show. So, yeah, so I was going into spoilers already. Or... Uh, before we actually start, <laughs> before, before we actually go into spoilers uh, because uh, all we talked about was honestly you know just the first few seconds mm. so it's mm -hmm. not but uh, the, but the thing is that you know all i'll say is that if these songs get an itunes release i'm buying that shit <laughs> i don't know oh, it's going into my liked songs if it comes on to spotify which i really yeah. hope a couple of them are really fun and really enjoyable i would agree so you know we should ask for those people who, because I know you're out there, because almost 9,000 of you have done it already, who watch for about the first five to ten minutes and want our opinion on the show or this episode which, or movie, whichever you prefer to call it, what did you think? Would you recommend it? Did you like it? I As a, In yes. a general sense. Yeah, I, I would. I would. Again... This is this is not uh, competing with anything main how to change a dragon, but at the same time, for what it is, if you enjoyed the show thus far, I think it's some of the show's best. So mm -hmm. goes highly recommended for me. Ian? Yeah. Just I mean, just like with uh, with the last one, if <laughs> if you're still unsure about watching Rescue Riders, you should watch this special instead of the other one. <laughs> yeah. I, it's yeah. fun. It's uh, it's also unique, uh, mm -hmm. so maybe it's a wrong expectation, but uh, it's uh, it's nice. Actually, yeah. Ian does bring up a good point. Uh, sorry, Wolf, go ahead. Oh no, you go ahead. You go ahead. I can wait. Uh, I would because I would say that you know I think I said a lot the previous special that if you weren't sold on the, on the concept of rescue riders before <laughs> the, the film special, I would say it didn't really have anything else for you. It's just kind of it was just kind of there. Mm -hmm. But at the same, but at the same time, I think that you know, if you weren't sure about this, but you need some, to feel like forty-five minutes, you know, it's not even enough. And you were always curious, but you didn't want to give it a full season, you know, a full season viewing. You could do this. This is honestly, the, I think this is honestly the best, the best uh, jumping point you can get. You know, see this, see if you like what you see. And then go back and maybe catch up because again, I think this is the best the show has done so far. So, I'll disagree a little bit. You know, if you're interested in Rescue Riders, this isn't what's going to sell you on Rescue Riders because it's fairly different from Rescue Riders. Rescue Riders doesn't have a lot of singing in it. If you haven't figured that out yet, sadly, sadly, very sadly. More singing, Rescue Riders, writers. We need uh, that. You're you really know, good at it. Yeah. But, <laughs> okay, sorry. Go ahead. I'll, I'll <laughs> but yeah, I mean, even still, like I would say, if you want to watch any one thing, Rescue Riders, but you don't really care for the show itself, watch this. You'll have a lot of fun with it. It's pleasant. It's upbeat. The singing and it, it, the singing from all the characters are is just great and on point. It's you know, it has some good laughs in it, and it's. Just and all the songs are very catchy and just well done and enjoyable. Like, you'll definitely, if you put your kids in front of this, 
they'll watch it, they'll love it, and they'll probably drive you crazy with how many times they replay some of the songs. But a lot of the songs are, again, very catchy and enjoyable, so they probably won't bother you as much as other certain songs that kids love to replay over and over and over again that became so annoying. If you're referencing what I'm referencing, congratulations, I hate you. But on another note... But, uh, oh, God. Oh, Rosen, God. Oh, oh uh, apparently, apparently it worked. He coughed so hard that he choked. I, I did it telepathically. But, uh, the thing, but the thing is that, you know, you did mention that, you know, sadly this isn't like, an, this, is, this show isn't going to become a musical just because of this one episode. And the thing is that when we did season one back in the day, I compare this a lot to The Lion Girls. And The Lion Girl literally has a song in every episode. So maybe this is the, this is the page they should have taken. I don't know. Maybe. <clears throat> not. I mean, if we get Layla to sing every episode, I would be perfectly fine with that because Brinley Brown has a beautiful singing voice. Yeah, so with that said, um, this was our non-spoiler review uh, if you uh, if you don't want any spoilers, then you know this is this is your chance to close the close the video, go watch the special, have fun, come back later. So as far as in three, two, one, man. You're still here, good. So we do start with Layla's song, like right away, right away we get this song, which again, like we said, you know, Layla's voice actress is is a is a really good singer. And you know the song itself is very easy, but so like it has a nice melody, like it, it's like the right song to get to get you into it. Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah. but the thing is, I, this is something that I'm not sure if you guys if you guys said it, but you know, did you manage to predict the lyrics in this song? Like there were some lyrics that I'm like, is she going to say this, and then she actually does, and I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> like, um. Not necessarily. I mean, it was predictable she was going to sing about all the main characters. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't fault them for it, really. Oh, no, I'm, no, no, I'm not faulting them for that. But I'm saying like that when I heard one lyric, I'm like, oh, this is probably going to rhyme with this word. And then it does. And it's like, oh, okay. Oh, no. I, no, not necessarily, no. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, but again, it's a nice song to it's a nice song to open up the piece, and yeah, and uh, you know, and then but we do get one of the main thing for Layla in this episode because this is this is kind of like her episode in a sense that she's apparently a really good singer when nobody knows that she sings. Yeah, when no like, one else she, is around, she can sing great by herself, yeah. but when she tries to, you find out later you know closer to the end that when she tries to sing in, other, in front of other people she just can't her voice cracks and breaks well, you can like that. you can actually say this in the start as well when, uh, yeah. when bopo points out that uh, if anyone has other singing but well, she's definitely nervous bopo. but you don't know why yeah. Hmm. well yeah. uh, but the point is that she has this stage fight which yeah. you know it's um, if for the, and on the one hand i do like this uh, this idea that you know because again a lot of kids have to grow up with stage fright and so it's something they have to overcome. Sometimes they are pressured into overcoming it. So I like the so I like the fact that you know they ha some kids have something to relate to when I mean, it, they watch them. It works. They watch something like this. It works well with that nervous little tick that, Layla, that they've animated for Layla, where she'll just you know pull on her hair a little bit and everything when she's nervous or worried. Or scared, yeah. you know, that's her thing, that's what she does. So it works well for that, you know, that she would have stage fright yeah. and that being her nervous little tick. But at the same time, like, again, I think it's a, I think it's a good thing to show kids that, you know, it's not something that other, other people have it and that they have a character that can relate with us. But at the same time, we see this in the beginning, we see this in the end, throughout the rest of the special, it's kind of it kind of falls flat. Uh, like, and by fall flat, I mean, it's not really there. It, it, kind, of, it kind of disappears until the end, but it's a nitpick. I mean, that's mm. really... 
what we I mean again it's not necessarily an important thing until you know it matters when she has to sing in front of people so I get it kind of taking a back seat to everything you know they show it here in the beginning to just kind of set it up and then they move on from that I do like the part uh, where in the in the first uh well, in the very American there. But in the first in the first um uh how do you say it chorus she goes uh that she loves to be with her friends and then in the second chorus she goes that she loves to be with her friends. Oh and Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's great. Yeah, that is she uh, she ad libs this. That's uh, this was fun, I agree. Yeah. That's pretty good. So, cool. Yeah. So and then the plot actually kicks off when uh, Agro decides to go, um, you know, to go out and fish, and mm-hmm. she meets those uh, those other uh, dragons that I like. I forgot their names for a second. Fire so. Furies, Laburn, and Cinda. Cindy. Cinda. 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 You gotta get the Cinda yeah, yeah. in there. Cinda and Laburn. Duh. And and this is kind of why I would say that it wouldn't necessarily work as a two parter, even though you can tell where the cut is because. If you had this in a season, I don't know quite where you'd place it, even if, whether it was at the end or... Because generally when Rescue Riders has done their ending two-parters, they've been a bit more story-driven and connected to the rest of the season. In this one, basically almost every dragon you've seen in Rescue Riders makes a reappearance to some degree, to some extent, right? Not all of them, but a good majority of them. Like every kind of type of dragon we've seen in Rescue Riders. Yeah, I actually have in my notes they found to that island. I'm like, what is this cameo island? Like, little, <laughs> like the, a lot of dragons that like, come back suddenly. Which, I, like again, that, uh, I, I like that Pattern of Swords is, uh, is back. That's, that's great. Yeah, I was sure Wolf is probably very happy about us. The what? Pattern of Swords. Oh yes, Grumble, Grumble Guard. <laughs> no, Os- Oscar. <laughs> Pat Oswald is Oscar. Oh yes, him. The oh yes, the boy band dragon. <laughs> yeah, the boy band dragon. <laughs> yeah, I loved that. <laughs> See, I didn't. Re- I don't think that was his voice, though, was it? I think that was something else. That couldn't have been him singing. Yeah, I just remember when they did it, this, uh, you know, choreograph dance and stuff. I'm like, I like that boy band song. This is a, this is exactly what it was. It was so great. Good. So good. I love that this is basically again, like you have a ton of different kind of pop culture song styles here. You know, you have the boy yeah. band. You have a little bit of I, oh, crap. What was it? Um, with aggro. You know, it wasn't exactly. I I don't want to say rap, but it was kind of hip hop yeah hip hop that's what it was hip hop it was very hip hopish in style again like you have a lot of different pop culture going on within the different songs that connects to each kind of to, that kind of connects to each to each of the characters and their va somewhat which was really yeah. interesting and fun culture is his rapping yeah. yeah which i loved yeah <laughs> also so good. you know chief duggard rapping my man <laughs> represent yeah, the chief so yeah, and, uh, don't step to the chief, T-bone. yo. T Bone, right? Yeah, T Bone. Yeah, he T-bone. also rapped. T-bone. Elbow. T-bone. Elbow. T-bone. Elbow. 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 That's it. Yeah, Elbow. I Elbow always rap. mess up his name. Uh, Elbow is the, Elbow is the one. <laughs> Elbow is the one that dubs, by the way. And, oh, right. he's the one that yeah, dubs. Yeah, I'll have yeah, to look yeah. back through that. I did not notice that dab then. Yeah, it's it's just in the beginning. Anyway, I think like, we're fast forwarding a lot. But uh, mm-hmm. actually, but we have to talk about this. I know we are. I know this is really jumping ahead, but come on. <laughs> as soon as this was made a musical, I'm like, they better give Magnus a song. Oh not, yes! Not oh. disappointed. That, that was, was so amazing. good. Agreed. That was definitely his voice actor, by like, the way. Like, yeah, like you can tell the voice actor just went into the recording booth. I'm going to have fun at work today. <laughs> I mean, oh, I think yes, I will have fun at work today. <laughs> I mean, I think yes, all of I think them. That's did. Like... I think this episode. I, I, like how, I like how you kind of turned yeah. into Mickey Mouse there. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, every, I, every voice like that. Yeah, I, I think you know, like all the VAs had a lot of fun with this one. I think you can really f- yeah. tell it and feel it in their VA work and in the singing. Like everyone just kind of came in and said, 
hey, let's just kind of have fun with this one and do whatever and just sing a lot. And it, they just really enjoyed it. Like, you can really feel the sense of everyone had a lot of fun working on, you know, this special. At least to me, that's the way it came off. Except which is also for, really enjoyable. Except for Wingo's voice actor, because, again, he gets nothing to do in this, but I won't go on to the trend again. I no, think he, he was fine. He sings a bit. He sings some, but, and I think he was great. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but you know, the thing is that he's not really getting any verses and he's just you know and he's just like going along with the rest of the people like mm. it's like it's like joint singing again it's a it's nothing special but it's again something i'm noticing that you know you're kind of marketing this guy as the not toothless and he basically gets nothing i think you're just you're i think you just hate winger <laughs> I, I i mean i, I do <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't really like him, but but again, it's not necessarily because he's terribly written. It's just that he's not written at all. It's like why have him there? And you know, you got the guy, the kid that voiced uh, Steven Universe to voice him. Give him something to do, for God's sakes. Next, uh, next special. This is the Winger special. Just so HC will shut up and quit complaining yes. about how we've Please. never done anything with Winger. Please. <laughs> We're tired of listening Make to Make a special about Winger. Just yeah. entirely about Winger and yeah, character you know building. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be up for that. Give this, give mm. this dragon a character. Like, it's not hard. You have done this with dragons who couldn't talk. He <laughs> can talk. Let him have a character for crying out loud. But, that's not, but again, this is the end of it. I'm not mentioning... <laughs> we should mention the... I guess you'd say kind of star of the show. Her, you know, the dragon's name is literally in the title for this special, the song win. Yeah. When yeah, we go well, to this new yeah. island, you know, I will say Agro I gets... like her design. Mm -hmm. I like her design and I like her voice actress too. Yeah. Well, the voice actress has said is the same woman who plays in the Hamilton play. So again, she does amazing. She's in a great singer. Obviously she played in Hamilton, so she would have to be a great singer, right? But, you know, as she does great here as Melodia, the song wing. And... Imagine you do one of the most inspiring and best review receiving musicals, and then what you're asked to do afterwards is voice a singing dragon <laughs> in Rescue I mean, right? I mean yeah, sounds like a, yeah, you know, a so... great move upwards to me. That's fair enough. I mean, well, you know, you, you need to pay the bills. Would this you... <laughs> Ask yourself this, Ian: Would you decline voicing, a, you know, being, you know, a singing dragon in a in a show? Well, yes, but then I'm crazy about dragons, so I mean, that's not really a fair comparison, is it? Sure. No. It is. Actually, I have a question. <laughs> I have a question for you. Uh, I, have you guys heard about the game Conquers Bad Fur Day? Yes. yes. You know about one certain musical moment in that yes. game, I assume. So. Yeah. It, let, <laughs> The giant singing poop. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Yes. So, 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 what would what role would you get? What would you like to audition for? The singing dragon in a kids show, or oh, this, or oh, the singing literal pile of shit? I mean, I can't sing, world. but I'll take either. If you're willing to give okay. it to me. I mean, to be honest, uh, I would be purple. Wasn't if I wasn't crazy about dragons. I would take the poo. Oh. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah. I, w I would be purple. I can't sing, but I would give it my damnedest. Oh, okay. <laughs> purple was but, very. Cute. By the way, by the way, uh, so speaking of which one, uh, they do find the um, you know the so uh, song wing. The name yeah, Melodia. The song yeah, Melodia. So they find her and they watch uh, her sing, and you know. And all the dragons that she hypnotizes are like dancing and singing with her. And there's a point where Dak is like, "What is this?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm with this kid. What the hell is going on? Yeah. I have no idea, but I'm loving it." We should mention, you know, as a song wing, Melodia, whenever she sings, she can hypnotize other dragons. At first, she cannot hypnotize humans, but she, you know, through seeing Dak and Layla and getting to know them a little bit, she starts working on trying to. Work figure out a song that she can use to hypnotize humans as well. I'm, I'm going to guess that th there is this quick little uh, bit of a scene um, where B 
basically, Melodia asks uh, Ankro, mm -hmm. uh, oh, can you talk a bit about your human friends? It'd be great mm -hmm. if they could sing along. So I feel like that's kind of a... Where she got the idea from, yeah. Yeah. And we should mention, right, like, on Melodia's Island, you know, like we said earlier, we said that, you know, HC called it Cameo Island. Like, this is where you see a lot of past dragons that we've seen in past okay. episodes of Rescue Riders. The Slitherwing, the... The, the boy ex band. Yeah, the boy the band. Boy the boy band dragons. I forget all their different names and types. <laughs> yeah. I should have wrote them down. Also, the um, you know the puffer dragon. I yeah, the puffer dragon. Yes. Also forgot. <laughs> we're terrible at this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who who was going to start her own? Yeah, you know, rescue uh, team. Rescue yeah. team. Yeah. Did I just didn't. mention this? Did I actually mention this? Like, didn't you start your own rescue team? And she's like, Nah, dude. I mean, she <laughs> did, but you know, again, she was hypnotized, so she never, she no longer cared, is what she said. Like, there's something more important, and that's singing right. with the songstress, which is Melodia. We find yeah. out, uh, and then that's said, way, we have. By the way, really, I mean, songstress. Mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, I one thing I like about her um, is that you know she's obviously the antagonist of this special but at the same time i wouldn't say she's necessarily a bad guy and i like that that in the reason she wants deck and lila to join uh, the thing Wait, is not the reason she wants not, everyone really yeah but but i think the reason the reason why she's like at first interested in having humans that is not necessarily because she's evil but it's just that you know she lost her partner. This is something we learn about this breed of dragons that they're mm -hmm. usually, in you know, pairs. live in pairs, and she doesn't have, and she doesn't have, you know, the second half. So she needs, you know, so she needs people to, you know, be with her. And and by the way, I just want to point this out that mm -hmm. you know she's using basically sound to hypnotize dragons to be you know to be with hell and mm -hmm. what and you know this is being affected through the eyes and the ears like they need to they need to hear this and then something changes in their eyes if you really think about this this is the bewildered only only a bit more kid friendly <laughs> oh right with uh, with the death song you mean what that's no, he, no he, one no, he said the blue beast you know how the blue beast can also hypnotize uh, dragons with its sound the blue beast sorry he cut off oh ah, he, did, <laughs> yeah, he, he did cut off a little bit but yeah the yeah, blue oh, beast okay. yeah the blue beast fair enough and this brings me to one of my favorite heads now which like imagine that you know with the uh, with this dragon you cannot get this alan making fun songs imagine if the world of his does that and it just like breaks into heavy metal or hard rock or heavy metal <laughs> like, oh, i could, I could right. buy that omelet would definitely be a heavy a metal head omelet would i buy that it's canon now it's canon. <laughs> oh yeah you don't know yeah we named uh oh no i know, I know. Okay. its name is omelet i i still just hate it <laughs> No, you're not allowed to. Hate it. It's a great name. It came from yeah, the yeah. egg she got in uh, Race to the Edge from the yeah, Wing Maidens. So yeah, its name is Omelette because of the egg. Yeah. Done. Well, and mean... it's a cute name. And you're not allowed to hate it. <laughs> okay, but uh, again. That's, like and it also so... works when Omelette dies because the egg is cracked. <laughs> Jesus. Can we just go back to the <laughs> let's, head go, let's, let's go <laughs> back to the uh, to the actual series we're yeah. talking about. And <laughs> so one I, so one I now believe that the Bewellow Beast, you know, die, you know, actually controls the other green dragons using heavy metal music. This is my other no, 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 no. but, <laughs> but just humans cannot hear it. Is yeah. what you're saying. All right. Yeah. All and dragons then, are metalheads. But, so but every then, uh, every time every time he roars, it's just a big grunt. <laughs> it's what you're saying. He's yeah. like, ah, oh. <laughs> exactly. Well, have you seen him roll? You tell me that the heavy metal and you know Drago raised him, so okay. he's used to the healing. There yeah. you go. Yeah, no, I mean, has a point. Drago would definitely be a metalhead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Because I'll so, be up against better just take a look at my face. Yeah. Okay, 
So rescue riders. <laughs> Back to rescue riders. I will say that you know, seeing all the other dragons like praise, uh, you know, praise and like, I was song stressed and so and it's like, is this a social commentary on like all on like all the teen idols or something? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> it, it, Hey, going going back to you know seeing all the dragons as well, right? Like this is why I say I'm not sure it would work in a season structure and be a two parter, just because you have all of these dragons showing up. Like again, you have like the water dragons from season two in Rescue Riders, right? Where you know you had to have Summer dealing with them because they were stealing stuff and taking it down to their nest and all that, right? Like you had them you had again you had the one of the slither wings pop back up way from way back in season one you you even had you know, laburn and cinda you had the dragon who that you know the little young dragon that's a pufferfish dra type of dragon that was starting her own rescue team you had you know the boy band the dragons that were you know they needed a leader and they'd kind of do whatever they would and they just needed someone to protect them from the wolves and that ended up being purple you know from that episode like you again, you had all of this pop back up, all of these different characters pop back up and reappear in different forms, and it's like very much. I'm not sure where you would fit that as a two-parter in a season structure, whether it be at the end, the middle, or the beginning. I'm not sure how well it would fit because you just have all of this coming together, right? Well, yeah, that's the point of a, of a season finale, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe a series finale. Again, I guess, again, though, generally their season, Rescue Rider season finales tend to incorporate stuff that has already happened within the previous episodes for the most part. Not all the time, but for the most part it does. We've like only had two, two season finales. This is true, so... But <laughs> I have precedence, even if it's just two times. <laughs> Fair <laughs> Oh, again, that's favorite. just my point. I don't think it would fit as well as a two-parter within a season, whether it be season finale or elsewise. I don't think it would fit as well. I think it does, especially in this regard. I think it works fairly well as a special. And that's so, all. Talking about it, when are we getting another season? I mean, I love all the specials. I mean, I, I have to, they must be working on a season, right? I have to, maybe, but I have to ask, like, if you didn't, do you think this would be a good enough end to Rescue Riders, quote unquote? You know? yeah. quote -unquote I mean, they never, they never resolved the plot of oh, now we're family, with with Doug. Um, true, like no, that they, was literally uh, in the end of like oh yes, I'm your dad now, hooray! Yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's one of those things that you know it happens, and that's and that's kind of it. You don't really need to resolve it. What I would like resolved is that you know. We went to the idea of making him, you know, the of the the official dad now, but um, and we also went through the trouble of uh, into the fact that the that the other dragons from the main Hot to Dragon, Dragon franchise do exist in this new universe. Okay. So there are other things they could potentially do with this, and also like mm -hmm. maybe lead to what happened to Deck and Lila's, you know, uh, parents. biological parents. You know, there maybe a certain... little bit too dark. <laughs> well, it doesn't have. To I be have dark, my so... theories. Oh, <laughs> yeah, of boy. course you do. I've already oh, mentioned boy. them, so go back and watch our old Rescue Riders episodes if you would like to know that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> that you the thing enjoyed is, it. Oh, I loved it, but no. <laughs> I, I still, I still love uh, the fan theory that you know their parents are uh, Dagger and Mala from West the Edge. No, yeah, that was one. Uh, it's a nice one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, These kids look nothing like Dagger, unless Mala dyed her hair black and she was actually a redhead. Then maybe. Because Dagger wasn't a redhead, was he? I don't remember. He was. Uh, he is. He was. Oh yeah, he is. He right. is. That is right. He is. So yeah, never yeah. mind. They they have his hair at the very least. Poor Mala, neither of her kids took back after her. Oof. <laughs> well, but, uh, you know, so there's... But uh, regarding where rescue riders can go, and maybe we should say... I take it back. The neither of their kids are insane, so they definitely took back after her. Oh, yes, this was about uh, the uh, secret of the song winner. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's, uh, All right. let's focus on it. But uh, I will say I do enjoy, you know, how they are trying to get aggro... And a little summer out of this, and um, uh, you know, out of the, you know, 
out of the mind control, but then, but then they kind of, you know, all the mess ups, all the thing. and you know, you do get these songs, which are fun songs. So this, uh, so it makes it even more fun. Yeah. And then, and then by the end of it, by the end of it all, uh, when they do manage again, this is what I mean with a cut off, with a cut off point where, you know, they manage to get all the dragons away from him, and they take and take them back to Hotsgalo, and which, then it's like, and sorry, then, real yeah. quick in between, that was a bitch move. <laughs> from <laughs> from uh from Deck and Layla. That I felt so bad for Melodia at that point. I was like, oh Yeah, they uh she's used so Dragon alone. Pepper to shoot her and she can't sing because she's sneezing so much, so she's not able to yeah. control the dragons. But by the way, she was who would have thought who would have thought Bopo's allergies would have been like the Chekhov's gun of this thing? God, <laughs> yeah. But you know, as if she was <laughs> I, gonna say Oh, go ahead. I, I do love how uh, how Layla says, oh yeah, that's what pirates use uh, on dragons before they get... Oh, wait! <laughs> <laughs> and she just kind of stops there. <laughs> I swear, that's just... that She was going to finish that being, like, minced or whatever. Mm. It's like... Hmm, Layla was going to say some dark stuff there, but no, no, she had yeah. an idea before she could finish. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like in one uh, there was this one episode of the eighties uh, Ninja Turtles cartoon where where I don't remember what it was, but like uh, when if someone asks April, hey, got any last words? And she's like, yeah, but they are too inappropriate, uh, inappropriate for television. <laughs> Same thing. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. But you know, but, as uh, it's, as H2 was going to say, you know, our cutoff point, quote unquote, is. They get all the dragons that was hypnotized by Melodia back to Hutskalor, but they realize and notice that they are still hypnotized. And basically mm -hmm. all of them start singing so Melodia can find them. Yeah, and Melodia also kind of makes it a promise that she, that she will get Dak and Lila and other humans into, into her groove, basically. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, this is kind of where... It stops, and then, and then you know, we get the second part where Melodia comes to Hatsgalo and oh. starts making and starts making all the human. Which, by the way, this is something that, like, how does it really work? Because on one hand, they do bring up the fact that because you not all the humans can speak Dragonese, for lack of a better term, well, then not really, yeah, but uh, they can't, but they can't understand her. But then she does manage. To get something going, but at the same, but at the same time, you know, well, again, uh, they don't. Un they, they even specifically state, like, I don't know what that dragon's say saying, but I can understand it because I love the way it sounds, right? Like, okay, they, I know I she's roaring. Sounds. Yeah, I, I love. Feel, the I feel like I feel like that's just a thing on like, uh, like Spanish or songs or just just songs not in your native language. Yeah, like, basically, oh, basically talk. me. Basically, me whenever I listen to J or K-pop, Every... it's like I have no idea well, what yep. I'm saying, when, but I love whenever, it. Whenever I'm listening to Despacito, mm. <laughs> oh god. But, uh, terrible. No. but so, yeah, every weeb so, who exists ever just went mood when it comes to, you know, the <laughs> openings and endings for any different anime. No clue what's being sung, but I love it. Oh man. Yeah. So real yeah. quick, going back to the dragon singing some melodia comes to the island, right? Is that the same song they use to eventually find his song mate? Because I, I think it is. I feel like maybe it was a goal to get as many as possible in her like area so that they could all sing that song to try and It was either get that it. or she was just again, she was lonely and looking for company and so she used her ability to hypnotize, you know, other dragons and now people. In order to not feel lonely anymore, I think mean, that's kind of why you know it's it's nice that she's not necessarily a villain. She's just literally just lonely, and she just wants people to sing with, and she's which just again, going about uh, it in again, I, not a great way. I though. like that she. I like that she's not an actual villain. She's just because we even get to you know after everyone in Hutskalor's hypnotized and everything, you know, we go to. You know, we kind of figure out, oh, we, you know, maybe we can break the mind control with a terrible sound, and that's where we come into Grumble Guard's back, woo, with the yeah. Shriek Wings, and we get to hear that god-awful sound. <laughs> god, I was not yeah, expecting that until I had it on, you know, I had 
headphones on watching this and it was on full <laughs> volume didn't expect to hear the shriek wings immediately after the cut and it's just that sound it's like god yeah. wasn't expecting that turn it down a bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, yeah. I, I I was in the same situation. That was uh, interesting. A bit much, yeah. but yeah, you know. And we bring the Shriek Wings back. That doesn't work, unfortunately, because I guess the the Shriek Wings can't overpower the Song Wings roar or anything. Cause they're not you know old enough or strong enough. enough. They're not loud enough. Yeah, and by the way, he's like, oh yeah, I totally knew this was gonna fail, so yeah. I can't. The <laughs> book arts like. I, yeah, I totally knew it was going to fail. I was like, well, why didn't you say anything? One, you didn't ask. And two, it was I didn't quite know. It was just a hunch. And when you're over 100 years old, you tend to just go with your hunches and figure they're right. They tend, they tend to be right. I'm like, God, I love also, this grumpy old man. I love him. Also, he wouldn't have listened. <laughs> he even has the damn kids these days too busy flapping, not enough listening. I'm like, I love <laughs> yeah. this old man dragon. I love him. <laughs> Oh, Give me so more good. of him, please. He speaks so to good. me. He speaks <laughs> to my soul. Oh, he speaks to my old man's soul. Oh, yeah, man. we know. <laughs> but uh, even though I'm y- young at heart, young at heart, young old in soul. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> no sacrifice. <laughs> and then, but Not then you know me. they kind of they get the idea. Only the mean old know. people. Uh, yeah. Damn, that means Grumble Guard gets the sacrifice. Not all the mean old people, only the unhelpful mean old people. Grumble Guard isn't mean. He's grumpy. <laughs> yeah. A little bit mean. He's not mean about it, though. Eh. Fair. Eh. I'll take it. As long as you don't get sacrificed. <laughs> sacrificed. <laughs> By the yeah. pandemic. Okay. Oh, and so, Yeesh. basically... So, basically, um... After after uh, all of this, they kind of... Rescue Riders doesn't go dark. We'll go dark for it. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't we pro- well, proven like that? A... <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, is, uh, like, this is part of the norm. Yeah. Like, everyone is like, oh, Belkas has a new episode about Rescue Riders? Well, let's see how a kid's show can go down. <laughs> the creators of it are just watching this like, oh, man, if only we could have written that. No, they're not. Uh, <laughs> they're definitely yeah, not. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they listen well, to this honestly, and be like, hey, God, glad we don't have them writing for us. <laughs> uh, actually, actually, you know, so, uh, one of the reviews I once got on a uh, Sonic fan fiction I wrote is that Sega should hire me to write the games. And it's like, do they? Do they want me there? I don't know. But, <laughs> should they? <laughs> listen, uh, I wouldn't. You know something? I think they should because I actually care about character. Listen, but I wouldn't uh... decline the ability to write for Rescue Riders. If you're hiring and you're looking for someone, I would love the job. All I would say Oh, yeah, is, same. All, all I would say is, film major, I'm a qualified writer. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not qualified, but all right. I can write. Oh, I can I'm... do that. <laughs> I, I don't need to like it is a different... for America. <laughs> Will you like it is a different story, but I can do it. Well, I anyway, have a perfect idea we can start with. So, basically, where was I? <laughs> so, but we don't have after to after this failed, after this failed, they kind of get the idea to you know get Lila to sing, you know, mm-hmm. and go on like a sing off with uh, Melodia, mm-hmm. uh, and the only and the only way to do that <laughs> is to ask the, for the help of Magnus because and that's we, when we find out that Layla just can't. You know, we find out. We find out exactly why Layla can't sing in front of a group. She can't do so because, again, her voice will crack and she just sounds terrible if she tries to sing in front of a group. So they go to Magnus to see if they can find a way for her to sing alone but still be heard. Mm -hmm. And that's when we get our boy Magnus and his big old solo of I told you so. (laughs) Literally just I told you so repeated, but he just does it in such a great way that you don't care. It's just lovely. You know, that's that it's okay. very much kind of that Russian By the dancing way, song vibe, right? You know, kind of yeah. Russian theme, like, you know, their main theme deal almost yeah. in a way. It's He's also great. kind of doing a Russian dance. He is a little bit at the end, yeah. So again, it's just lovely how they did him and his voice and his singing. And, and another thing I like is that you know, if he could make, a, you know, build a machine that would, that would be able to, you know, 
here, here but not see. And he's like, oh yeah, I have this thing ready. That way I can, you know, torture Axel from any point of the island. It's yep. like, fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's so good, though. Very mad. <laughs> yeah. I find it very in character, and I, I was not even upset he had it. I was just like, yeah, that's fair enough. He would yeah, have no, that. that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. no, 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 I, I like it, but at the same time, it's like, my god, <laughs> like, what an, you know, what an asshole. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 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 we get a it's... small, quick cameo from Axel, too. <laughs> he's just like, oh. I, I, I like that, you know, he's just there for the sake of the joke. He's not even a character yep. in the, in the no. bigger picture. But, yeah, anyway, what, <laughs> well... After this, we I will say that I kind of saw it coming that something was going to happen with the machine and it would yeah. break and people would see Lila sing. But at the same time, again, I do like that message and, you know, kind of empowering moment for kids who do suffer from stage fright. And this is something they can relate to and learn from it. So yeah, I appreciate you, that. I love the close-up of her. You know, you kind of see her hands tightened into fit, balled into fists and everything and she just breathes out, tries to relax herself, untightens her hand, and then she starts singing. Like, it was a great little bit of cinematography there, I felt, you know? Yeah. And yeah. God, and Jack, he... though, that was so creepy. Like, just the smile and the wide eyes, and it's just like, join <laughs> us! Okay. Yeah, this one. Oh. I, I, actually, you know, so I don't much. have any siblings, but I don't have any siblings, but if my twin brother would have looked at me like this, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna American Idol, the son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, anyway, and I do like the song off. Like it was yeah. a cool, it was a cool, it was a cool way to finish things. Yeah, both so. uh, Renee and Brenly did well together, and they're kind of back and forth. But and they're kind of like working together, but also not working together, and they're back and forth singing. Like it really melded very well. Surprisingly, yeah. like it was really well done. Yeah, and then. And... After this is all said and done, we do get, uh, you know, the... Yep, I yep. don't remember if they actually said something, but, uh, like, that Melodia says that her partner kind of left her? Or Didn't left. Somehow. They got separated somehow. They got separated. Yeah. Like, she was they lost. Really, and th th again, they it's don't not, really get into it. Yeah, they don't really focus on it. It's just very quickly said that she doesn't have a partner. You, you, you get kind of very quickly, like, Melodia never says what happened or why it happened. Just that they were separated and she was never able to find her later. But in the very beginning, you know, you have Layla point out that she's a song wing and talk about how song wings travel in pairs, but this song wing is alone. That's all we know at the beginning. It's at the yes. end when Layla, you know, is able to outsing Melodia and everyone, lo and, you know, she everyone loses being hypnotized. They come out of it. And you see Melodia Rich. being all sad and lonely. Like, oh. By the way, this song was amazing mm -hmm. which one <laughs> the last one no that they sing to try and find her mate yeah, they, the, no uh, no the, after the they find each other last. oh the no, one where where layla uh out and sings uh, where Melodia. Where, yeah oh yeah very good very enjoyable pretty great uh, Absolutely i will great. say i'm not sure if i'm reading too much into this but are you going to say what i think it... you're going to say i'm curious go ahead what am i what do you no, think no, I'm no, going no. To say? no 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 go ahead i want to see if i get it right Okay, so, you know, Consonant doesn't say this uh, type of dragon channels and stuff, and, you know, it's it's two women, and the way they yep. also kind of, when knew they it. reunite, is this, is this like trying knew to it. get, uh, of course you knew it, but is this kind of trying to send the LGBT, you know, uh, signals in the dragon universe, because I'll tell you what. Give it to us, why not? So, oh, Rescue uh, I, was, is... I was gonna mention it, yeah. Yeah, I. <laughs> Rescue I had... Riders is more woke than how the Tenders are. And technically it is. So, I had the exact same thought. Wait, like, is it? No, Cobra is gay. I mean, okay. so Cobra's line. I didn't mention. Yeah, Cobra's okay. so vague. I didn't marry the because of this and one other reason. It's like, mm, well, no, I, but in the I, third I, movie, I, let's be honest. Whole... I mean, okay, Aaron... okay, yeah, in the third yeah. movie, yeah, they went way better with it. But in the second movie, that was vague as hell and not good enough. So I commend yeah, them, though, for enough. fixing that in the third movie. And in yeah, the show, enough. too. Like, they did better with the show as well, a little, a little bit. Yeah. But the third movie, but, yeah, they uh, did yeah. a lot better. I agree. Yeah, but, uh, okay, but uh, I saw this and it's like, huh, 
I'm not sure if this is what they're intending for, but good, you know? So I have some things to say about this. I went and actually talked with a few LGBT folks I know because I was very curious. And I asked them, you know, hey, looking at the color design of Melodia, do you think this is representative of the LGBT flag? And there's and their response was, eh, you know, it, I hadn't given them, I had not given them any context at that point, right, yet. And they said, looking at the flag and looking at the design, it feels like this is just mostly an iridescent design, like it's not really meant to be the LGBT flag. But they also said, we'll claim it anyways, though. <laughs> and, you know, clap to them fair. That's a good laugh. But then I gave them a bit of context and said, you know, hey, the name of this dragon is a song wing. They live in pairs and, you know, they, you know, with their song mate and everything. And particular, in particular, these two dragons are female. And they're like, that's hella gay. <laughs> <laughs> so take it as you will, right? It's if it is LGBT coded, it's very subtle about it. It's not explicit, yeah. Yeah. but well, just like I the think, map. Yeah, I think also mm. because you know, I, I don't <laughs> think they, I don't think they could have done it any more in your face. Than yeah, this because I, I agree. if they would, there would there would have been sadly <laughs> there would have been backlash. Yeah, but, I agree. There would have been new marches on the street. Yeah, but, no. you know, I, I think right the way it's done, whether you think it is LGBT coded or whether you, or whether you think it isn't, it is not LGBT coded. Right, either way. If it is, then that's great because if there's LGBT kids who see this and enjoy this and are able to, you know, see that representation for themselves, of themselves, in this show with these two dragon characters, that's great, right? If they're able to see that and they feel they get that from it, you know, that's great that they have that. I think more kids' shows could use more LGBT representation. And I'm yeah. glad that, you know... Hopefully, thanks to the massive success of She-Ra, that we're going to get more of that. And it definitely also seems DreamWorks like, property. Now that yeah, I think you know, all, and it seems like DreamWorks themselves as well have been really trying to step into that LGBT sphere a lot more with a lot more of their characters. Has think, to give Shrek a boyfriend. Oh God, no. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> hmm. Give Hiccup a boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, give that... Astrid a girlfriend. <laughs> she has Heather. You know, yeah, yeah, she has that. There we go. <laughs> so that means, so that means Hiccup would have to marry Fishlet. There we go. We've, no, we've Hiccup will just, off. Hiccup will actually just be forever alone. No, no Toothless, no Astrid. Just oh, okay. lonely. Listen, well, th this everyone can, can be bi. Guys, you just you know Hiccup yeah. and Astrid, but also Astrid and Heather. Yeah, 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 and maybe they have an open relationship. You know, maybe they're uh, what do you call Polyamory it? Polyamory at its finest. You, you know something? <laughs> Sorry, Astrid, Polyamory. Uh, Poly yes, yes. You know, there we go. Astrid would have been one of those people that would totally date Heather on the side, but if she'll catch Hiccup with a guy or another girl, she would give him hell. <laughs> she would lose it. <laughs> Oh yes. Okay, but I mean, you, uh, just, you, you you have you know you have your heat you know you have your hiccup and heather ship so you just combine the three you know hiccup and astrid so, hiccup and heather astrid and hiccup astrid and heather it, it all works. So huh? se secrets of the song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, so. But what do you expect? Yeah, but other than that, though, yeah, we we basically went through everything, and again, I really enjoyed. Yeah. Um, I came in. I came in very like. I, okay, we're gonna watch. We need to do, to do a podcast about it. But I came out really satisfied. Like I'm glad I saw it. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Oh, I I I loved it. It it was it was great. Imagine, by the way, I was I was working today, and I mm -hmm. went home, and in public transport, I just get these messages of, "Oh my God, it's amazing." I don't want to say much more. <laughs> and just like and just Wolf basically being like this is the best thing of Rescue Riders and I'm just like okay I've got something to watch when I'm home I mean god. all that I came in and said was oh my god you know HC like the new Rescue Riders thing it's a musical and I just responded I wrote with, it in a spoiler I he did in a spoiler in. and I just I responded with oh my god from the very beginning when I first sat down to watch it and my response was, I love it so <laughs> And then uh, she's like, don't yeah. say anymore, don't say anymore. And then, like, <laughs> uh, 
And then like uh, one of uh, like what my my favorite reaction though when after I wrote this like one of our friends in that server just posted an emoji of toothless raisin and eyebrow at what <laughs> yeah. I said and it's like yeah without any context you know from a person who like revolts the existence of the existence yeah. of the show my god that again great. people are very hard on rescue riders because it's not yes. you know adult enough but. I think Rescue Riders is a lot of fun, and I think and this, nice. this is. If you do, you need to ex because I think uh, one of the people are so harsh towards that is because they can't really accept the fact that how to train a dragon can be other things. And again, I think I mentioned this when we reviewed season one. We're probably a bit too fresh off the. We we're a bit too fresh off the, you know, the, the third the wall. So yeah, people, I think people will probably needed a bit more. To let that sit. I feel like it would be it it would be worse if it got yeah. went five you're years from now. It's it's like it's like, it's like it's like the end of her train oh, dragon God. and then it's like five <laughs> years of silence and then it's like, oh we've got a new Dreamings Dragons thing. Is rescue Oof. <laughs> it just yeah. be like what? Yeah, and that would have made a good. lot of fans upset. Like yeah. this is the dragons thing you come up with? This. Ugh. I would but, still love I mean, it. I would love the reaction. I, I kind of wish they would have done that now because the reactions <laughs> would have been priceless. Oh, man. Oh, God. You know, it outrage. would go both ways. Rescue Riders is really not... I, you know, people have asked me this. Like, what... Uh, one of my friends actually... Um, they asked me... They, it's like, how can you, you know, how can you, so, uh, how can you stand this? And it's like, I'd say, because honestly, when you look at the show and what it's trying to do and what it's aimed at, it's not terrible. Again, no. I've seen, That's I've fun. seen Walt's show for this demographic. Yeah. And again, I think this show does have kids of, like I said, on this special, like uh, the idea of, you know, you know, handling stage flight. Like I didn't really see this in a kids shows even even you know shows that that are aimed at older kids no one really i don't remember nothing on, on comes to tell me yeah something actually talked about kids having stage fright so you know it's good to have this I, as someone who had stage fright i would have loved this uh, this would have helped me as a kid i'm, but, I'm just gonna say it this is better than dorothy explorer that's, that's a competition. Yeah. That's, that's a, Not a high bar. <laughs> better mean, than I'm Teletubbies. Saying, it's better than Nick Jr. stuff. This is I'm true. I'm just saying. Better than Teletubbies, a lot of that. You can't beat mm. Barney, though. You can't You can't top Barney. Barney's peak <laughs> kids. Oh, my God. Imagine sure the, top Barney. The, the post credit scene. You're just terrible. Lewd. Terrible. I, I heard so that. Low. HC might have missed that, but I heard that joke. I don't know what you're talking about. But, uh, I, I said you can't top Barney, and I heard you mention something about top Barney. I heard that, Ian. I heard it. <laughs> I didn't say that! <laughs> That's what it sounded like. What did you say then? Because I did. <laughs> I, I, I just said I'm pretty sure it topped it. Uh, I, That's not what I <laughs> But my, you know, guys, hear me out. The post credit scene for this special will be Barney arriving at Hasgalo and going, I love you, you help me. And this will be the best ending ever. Just I mean, like, uh, <laughs> just like, <laughs> spoilers for the Sonic movie. Wow. <laughs> Weird. I mean, again, <laughs> just like, you know... like uh... <laughs> no, no, I can't say it. This isn't mm -hmm. a Sonic movie thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, continue. We don't speak of that which should not be named, Ian. It's great. No, it okay. is. I anyway. enjoyed it. I had fun with it. It was anyway. actually really fun. But yeah, um, <laughs> I I think both you know, of the things. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was a really good special. I think this was some of the best rescue riders we've gotten mm. potentially. Yeah. You know, it's just well done. It's fun. If you it's, do uh... nothing else with rescue riders, check this out. I think it's worth the time. It's a lot of fun. It's. It's the best musical in the DreamWorks Dragons franchise. This is true. Yes. And we had a Race <laughs> to the Edge musical, so... Yeah, the Race to the Edge musical ain't got nothing on this. It's great. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> one way to look at it... <laughs> what? Well, wouldn't you agree? 
Uh, I, you know, it is it is kind of different from uh, from the rest of the Edge musicals. Uh, like I said, it's uh, it's a different kind of musical, so it's hard to compare in that sense. But I guess it depends on your thing. I mean, I guess it depends. You know, do you like Layla more or do you like Heather more? Because again, May Whitman had a beautiful voice, absolutely oh, yeah. beautiful voice too. So it you know basically just take your pick. Did you prefer May Whitman singing or do you prefer Layla or Brindley Brown singing? I, don't I would necessarily say think it's a. I I I wouldn't say it's necessarily the singing of the voice actors. I would I would just have Layla <laughs> more than Heather. Holy shit, though! If Dagger and Mala are Jack and Layla's parents, so that's where. So she is there on. <laughs> no 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 no. no. <laughs> No, hear me out. Hear me out. This is why they are their parents, though, because Heather sang to Layla. That's where Layla get her got her singing from. Oh Boom. my god! Oh my god! Boom! Wow! You're with welcome. That fan, with that fan theory, I think there's nothing, nothing we can say to, to top that. <laughs> wow! I I'm I'm speechless. Honestly. See, now Rescue Riders Writers, you have a show that you can write where you can write the past and you can show us Heather singing to Layla or Heather and Layla singing together when she's younger. Boom. And then Hiccup visiting <laughs> as Dagger's brother. <laughs> yes. Yes. As, you, you, you have uh, it all. You have it call all. It? Hiccup would be the... Uh... Godfather. Yeah. Hiccup would be the godfather. Astrid the godmother. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> oh man, I oh I don't know. That'd be amazing. We're too deep that'd in be, now. That'd be just <laughs> great. Wait, but wouldn't that mean that? Hmm, oh well. We're yeah, too deep just... in now. The fan fiction yeah. it's already being written. Yeah, God. All the plans. Tell me about it. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is <laughs> HC. Please, please stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Uh... That's been all for the Birdcast, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Before that, before that, I do want to say something because we did mention this. It's not necessarily about the special, but you know, we did talk. Well, do you think rescue riders should go from here? Do you think they should just keep going with specials, or should, or do you actually want to see an actual season again? <laughs> The backstory of Tech and Layla and seeing Tagger and Mala. It would be perfect. They could do that if that's well, what they want to connect. I, but people I would hope, be furious. You know, maybe that's another. Maybe that's another question. I'm pretty sure we asked this previously. But do you think uh, you know how much connection do you think this needs to have to the main How to Turn Dragon? I yes, remember we... we said in the past, right, that if Hiccup showed up, we'd probably be like, eh. Yeah. It'd be just too much. It'd be too on the nose. I remember us saying that in the past. But if... then, at the same time, I think <laughs> we also said that if it did happen, it would be very interesting. Yeah, it would be great. We would enjoy it, but it, it would be way too on the nose, and we yes. may not enjoy it. But if it's if it kind of stays within the way Rescue Riders has carried itself, which has been fairly nonchalant, and it doesn't take itself completely seriously right, then... Ooh. Ooh, I would be fine if, with it. <laughs> what if what if they find Oldberg just when they have left? Right. No, no, no. I have and something then, better. I have something and then, better. And then Oldberg, they go to the hidden wall. From the ashes of Oldberg. <gasps> what now? Do so Repeat that, please. Hatzgalol was born from the ashes of Oldberg. Not bad. Ooh, that, mm, that is a good, that's a good theory. They don't have the huge mountain though, so that's a bit of a, a bit of a thing. But uh, you know, I like it. I like it. It's sunk. now. I, I, I hope that for for the next rescue riders thing, they do do a more seasony thing. I, I like the specials, but I don't know. You know, I, I, I miss a TV series. I miss yeah. a TV series. I, I, I kind of want to know what they're gonna do with um. Dagger as uh, Dak and Layla's supposed to be dad now. I feel like he'd be way overprotective. Did you say Dagger? <laughs> it sounded like you said uh, Dagger. <laughs> no, Dag Daggered. 
Duggard. Is it Duggard? It's Duggard. Well, <laughs> Duggard. <laughs> well, we know where your head's at. I know. <laughs> well, I think we can. So this film, this episode. But yeah, I, oh, well. um, my opinion would real, real quickly be. If we get nothing else, then I think this was a fairly good thing to end on. Like, I'm happy with this being the last Rescue Riders thing we get if we get nothing else. If we're getting anything more, I would like to Which see... Which we're hoping. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind more. I would enjoy more. And I would like to, as Ian said, see them go into a bit of Chief Duggard being their, you know, dad now and how that connects and everything. And maybe getting a bit more of Dak and Layla's past if that's something they want to explore. If not, that's fine. But... Another season, maybe two, I would be fine with. I would really enjoy. If they want to continue just keep doing specials, I'm okay with that too. Like, I'm really up in the air. I don't think they can really... They would have to try extremely hard to disappoint me with this show at this point, I think. Because I've just had a lot of fun with it. If they continue with specials, the next one has to be about Winger. Just for H sake. Yeah. Winger-centric special. Here's the thing, you say this in order to like make fun of me, but again, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't no, mind no. that. I no, we, we wouldn't, I, I, we wouldn't I, mind I, either. We would enjoy it too. It's more rescue yeah. matters. Yeah. <laughs> in the meantime, HC is like, hmm. <laughs> no, I'm just. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Now yeah. you can end, HC. Yeah, so uh, so basically that's been all for the podcast. We hope you enjoyed. What do you, do you think about the new special for Rescue Riders? And where well, do you think the show should go from here? You can tell us all about that in the comments below on our Tumblr, which is Belcast Steam, on our Twitter, which is Belcast with a capital B, capital C, and you can find all of us on all of this. So with all that said, I was HC. I was Wolf. And you can find all of us on the How, Ch- How to Train Your Dragon Valhalla Discord server since HC completely cut out there. Oh, <laughs> oh and I was, uh, I was Ian Chi, and please send me all your headcans about Deck and Layla's uh, parents. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's got to write that talk- fan fiction. Yes. And we will talk to you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Ciao.